Coming up is the final Thursday of Zoo Blooms, otherwise known as Tulip Mania. This is going on at the beautiful Cincinnati Zoo, one of only two botanical gardens in the state of Ohio. And oh yes, just look at the time lapse wow. of these going from nothing to literally in full bloom. Great work by the photography and editing department at the Cincinnati Zoo, and I thank them for sharing that with us here on uh, Weather Nation TV. And they just got a little round of rain today, too. They the did. Flowers. Keeping those blooms, and again, tomorrow yeah. night, 6 to 8.30. It's going to cost you 8 bucks, but you get to see that. Very nice. All right, thanks for watching Weather Nation TV. Kristen, along with Rob, this is our national headlines, and we're talking about the severe weather in Pennsylvania. Check out Indiana. Yep, we've had the rain move on in. Gusty winds and damaging winds with that. Storms also down in Alabama. And we're talking a Midwest warm up. It's about time, right? But this is Lewisburg, Pennsylvania at Teens Greece. Share us the picture with us. Yeah, we have the rain on the way from our latest front. And Rob, it looks like the storms still have the potential to produce some damaging winds. Yeah, just gorgeous there on the campus of Bucknell University. And a little bit of rain right now starting to fall around campus and parts of western and central Pennsylvania. We've got some rain totals here uh, coming up. First, the rains have just crossed over the central as they move east. The line is not weakened. Instead, it looks like it's starting to uh, diminish quite rapidly. So Philly, some rain on the way. Uh, Wilkesboro, Scranton, but the rain should be under two tenths of an inch. So far, Du Bois, 0.41, Johnstown, 0.2, Altoona, half an inch of rain. And up in Williamsport, just 14 hundreds. It's not been gangbusters. It hasn't been crazy severe weather. About 11 reports all in all, all being wind damage uh, coming in during this afternoon. Uh, Mercers Mercersburg, Pennsylvania, getting a report of wind damage during the last just couple of hours. This line moves east, weakens, falls apart. Looks like White Plains over towards Montauk, uh, Chatham, and then up towards Bangor. A little bit of light shower activity. Clears tomorrow morning for sunrise. A nice day. Next cold front arrives on Thursday night, Friday morning. No weather with that one. Too, too dry. Too wet. New Orleans, Louisiana. Tons of rainfall here, and we did have one report of a tornado and some wind damage uh, near New Orleans during the afternoon. And of course, the crazy downpours amounting to two inches in the Big Easy. Hattiesburg, an inch and three quarters. And even as far north as St. Louis, the rains came down heavily. Things have quieted down now, but the Midwest beginning to see more rain. Kristen. Something that we just did not want any more of. This is Savannah, Illinois, and a lot of areas getting the flooded roads, spilling on over into our creeks and streams. River levels running very high still, and this will be the case through the end of the week. It takes some time for these uh, flood waters to recede. And as we look at the Midwest flooding, all these gauges are indicating that we could see major flooding still to come here. Right along the mid Mississippi River Valley, various areas of Illinois, southern Wisconsin, even into Indiana, because the past 14 days, we had several inches of rain. And within the past 24 hours, Indianapolis, there's an inch and a half. So more rain on top of saturated ground. It just can't soak it in all at once. So ends up running into our creeks and streams. And we're worried about the snow, too, in Fargo. The snow is melting. We have several inches still on the ground. And Vern Whit Witten shows us the dike building that they're going to be uh, doing construction on. This is to help tame back the floodwaters when the Red River does flood. And oftentimes it does this time of the year with the rapid snow melt and the warming conditions. So we've had flood warnings posted for the lower to mid Mississippi Valley. Fargo, because of the Red River, you were under that flood warning too through at least next week. Behind the front that brought us the rain though, it's getting much colder. We have frost and freeze warnings, swatches, advisories posted tonight. Another cold one, 20s and 30s from Wichita, Dodge City, even into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. From Louisville, Columbus, into Nashville, even Nashville gets in on the action. So lows tonight will definitely be in the 30s. Maybe some of the outlying areas, more sheltered regions, actually getting to 32 and maybe below for a brief time. And certainly cold enough here across Nebraska to see low temperatures dip into the 20s. But Rob, it looks like the cold air is very short-lived. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be moving out here this weekend. And the warm-up is starting. I just am not too crazy after this warm-up gets started. One thing that may happen, we may get about five, six days of it. And if you look at the long range and you believe in what's known as the North Atlantic Oscillation, and so far this winter and spring, it's been exceptionally uh, accurate. We are going to go into another cold cycle as we go into this warm-up post. So we're talking about May 3rd to about May 6th. Another chilly trough will develop across the East Coast. So, yes, enjoy the warmth, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to last all the way through the month of May. High temperatures on Thursday, mid-60s out in the West, even Los Angeles. The heat is in Arizona, parts of South Florida. Comfortable in St. Louis. That's a good term to describe the weather under the arch. And in Detroit, you had snowflakes today. Rain showers tomorrow, 51.